Now, is your goal to sing scales or phrases? Think about that. The next time you're going to practice a scale, I want you to think about what you are intending to sing. If you do not hear the singer that you are trying to copy sing a scale in a song, it's probably not going to be useful for you to practice a scale or any such exercise that's similar to that. If you hear a scale, if you hear a scale, if you hear a singer that you're trying to copy say, sing uh, in a song, by all means, you copy that. If you hear a singer changing keys, uh, 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 do you ever hear a singer do that when they're singing a song? Now this is a very popular exercise, singing a scale and then doing it in different keys. Do you ever hear singers change keys in songs? Unless the song has a key change, which maybe that has a key change in the end and it's, get, it's like getting, becoming more epic. Even that doesn't sound like when you're doing a scale changing key. Sometimes the song has like one, one semitone key change or sometimes they have a two semitone key change jump. If you don't hear the singer doing it, you probably shouldn't be practicing like that. How should you practice? You copy whatever the song is actually doing. So if the song has got a melody, you, every song has melody, you try to copy the exact notes of that melody and get them right and have a good understanding of them and be able to execute them at a slow to fast speed and be more similar to the actual um, singer. This guy's distracting me, he's talking so loud on the phone. So, for example, let's say you want to sing a song like, uh, let me think of a song. Underneath the chandelier, we're dancing all alone. Let's say you want to do that, right? So, underneath the chandelier. Let's say you want to learn that. There's a lot of work to do to get that right. Underneath the chandelier. Underneath the chandelier. I got one note wrong when I went slowly. So, see, that's how hard it is. It's hard to get every note right, right? That's what you want to be doing. That's where you want to be spending your time. You don't hear Bruno going, Underneath the And let me switch key and then do another key. You don't hear Bruno do that. So why would you practice like that? That's not how you practice. The song is hard enough to get right already. It's hard enough to get every note right. Let's take our time tonight. It's hard enough to do that. It's very hard, trust me. The, let's take our time tonight. That's six notes that you have to get perfect on pitch and that you have to memorize and that you have to sing in timing and that you have to have lyrics on, that you have to use the correct tone, use the correct volume, be able to sing it in range. There's so many things that you already, so many stuffs, so many things you already have to learn. So why would you be going and doing something that does not even occur in the song? Think twice about that, students and teachers. Think twice about the way you learn singing. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of effort to do things that do not occur in the goal that you're trying to copy. Phrases, not scales. Okay? Check out my website for more information. I'll see you next time. Bye.